Next. 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 Need to be smart. I got two thousands reality TV. A period of time where I established my complete and chaotic personality. <laughs> Can you literally stop? Like now is not the time. Paris Hilton and Nicole Richie not caring about the working class while also still trying to be like the working class. Tiffany Pollard being spit <laughs> on by a girl nicknamed Pumpkin. <laughs> After being eliminated from a dating show, trying to win the heart of a man that looks like this. I love reality TV, because dating is apparently just one big game. Speaking of games... You see what I did there? <laughs> Go ahead, sponsor! This video is sponsored by Miss Play. Miss Play is a loyalty app for us gamers. For anyone who's looking for a little help with Amazon purchases, DoorDash delivery, PlayStation Network purchases, Spotify subscriptions, you heard me? And with Miss Play, you can earn rewards simply by playing and discovering mobile games. Offering a huge catalog, puzzle games, word games, casual car strategy, adventure, and even more. The more you play, the more points you earn. And you can redeem the points for gift cards. That includes some of the favorite brands like Amazon, Amazon, Walmart, Xbox, PlayStation, even Visa, which is accepted in most stores. Over a hundred million dollars in gift cards have been redeemed so far. So some of you guys might know, some of you guys might not. I am a casual gamer. I love me some casual classic games, you know. The matchy matchy, the draggy draggy. Throw a ball here, suddenly all the balls disappear and then you won the game. You know, I love them. I love me a good mobile game that can relax you, but then still also challenges you and keeps you active in some shape or form. So, so far I've been ticking away at Solitaire and Marble Master. Turn enough points so I can get myself a DoorDash gift card so I can buy myself a steak, girl. Okay, I want some meat. So visit MissPlay.com slash Mac or click link in the description to download MissPlay for free. You'll also get 200 bonus points for signing up today. Plus, use my code MAC50 inside the app for an additional 50 free points, which will help towards redeeming your first gift card. Look in the description for all the details, and also here's a QR code. Ow! Ow! Okay, now back to the video. <laughs> the early 2000s were also a time where gay rights were very highly questioned and very highly non-existent in the United States, and that itself was heavily portrayed in our programming. There was actually, in fact, a TV show that was just like The Bachelorette, but with the premise of, out of the entire lineup of men, we were made to believe that there's only just one singular evil gay man just there to get money and absolutely destroy and decimate the idea of traditional relationship making. And the whole cast had to figure out which one was it. And so throughout the entire series, you are faced with a group of straight people constantly stereotyping each other and using stupid ideologies to determine which man was gay. I think that he's got some mannerism that made him a little bit feminine might be gay. I think Bradley's gay simply because he's very much into his personal appearance more so than straight guys. Blow dryer, a lot of hair gel. Cause you know, men can't be clean. We'll get into that show later. Showing gay relationships or gay people in general was seen as edgy and breaking barriers. And what is that one channel that was used to doing such things? Edgy. Barrier shattering content. Such as Britney Spears holding a stake. Madonna Kissing a girl, and then Madonna kissing another girl. Oh my God! MTV. Now, right before music television decided to stop showcasing music and stop calling itself music television all completely, in between this music video program block, it would air one off reality TV episode that most obviously came out of the head of some frat boy or sorority sister from USC. Now, on this channel, we've already reviewed Room Raiders, which is the one my subconscious fully remembers, where a person would decide who they would date based on seeing their room alone. Because, you know, that makes sense. Simultaneously running at the same time as Room Raiders, come to show that I have been absolutely hesitant on revisiting in my entire life. N-E-X-T. Next. Next was a reality TV dating game show running from 2005 to 2008, with a total of six seasons and 288 episodes. 288 episodes, and only one of them is gay. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the gay episode. <laughs> Because we need views. How do I explain this show to you? Basically, we have one person, right? Let's call them the home dog. The main character of the episode. Have in mind, every episode ran about 30 minutes with commercial. So about 16 minutes. The home dog will go on a blind date with about five other skillet biscuits who will be secluded in an RV called the next bus. Now I say could go, because not every single skillet biscuit gets a date. And not even every single skillet biscuit gets to walk up fully to the home dog. Because for the majority of the entire show, the length and the continuation of the date, 
dates are fully determined on the home dog's entire preference. Because at any moment of dating the skillet biscuit, the home dog can just randomly scream Next. and the date will be over. And the skillet biscuit will have to go back on the bus feeling dejected and rejected. But don't you worry, don't you fret, young one. Because every minute the skillet biscuit survives on the date with the home dog, they receive one whole dollar. That makes it worth it, right? Has anyone ever told you that reality TV is one of the cheapest forms of media to make on television? Did you wonder why? But Matt, what if the home dog really enjoys the date with the person they're on? Shut the hell up, I was getting there. What if the home dog really enjoys the Skillet Biscuits um, fluffiness? At the end of the day, as said Skillet Biscuit, if they would like to go on another day in the future. And which then, the premise of the show, shit. Now the control is in the hands of the Skillet Biscuit itself. Who can determine if they would like to continue this dating situation? Or if they will next to contest himself. <gasps> <laughs> Today we're going to be reminiscing and unpacking said gay episode of NEXT. The one singular gay episode out of 288. The one episode that aired and probably woke up the minds of many millennials to this day. But first, here are my predictions of what we're gonna see. And every single time we see one of these, why don't you guys take a shot or something? One, spiky hair. Two, a really sassy gay with long hair. Three, someone on this show is going to be wearing a long sleeve shirt underneath a short sleeve shirt. Because for some reason, the fashion in the early 2000s was everyone trying to be the next Nickelodeon star. Four, just white people. Because in the early 2000s, showing gay people was edgy enough. Showing a gay person of color was far too much, okay? They didn't want to get burned down. I also believe someone's going to get next in the first one second of them walking off the bus for something stupid and gay for like having bad fashion or something. And then they're going to respond with roasting the fashion of the home dog themselves. Uh, I never date a guy wearing loafers or some shit. You know what I mean? You know how they thought the gays were in the early 2000s. And we played the hell into it, girl. Okay, we needed that money. But shall we get into it, yeah? yeah. Shall we venture? Yeah. Let's venture. I'm 21 and I'm an artistic, fun loving gay man. Hi, Evan. Artistic, huh? With that shirt and collar? Okay, girl. It's 2000. It's 2000. Oh, I should have said a spike collar. Oh, girl. They were all about those spike collars in the early 2000s, girl. Think in sync. That was like every man personality from 2001 to 2007. Okay, Evan, let me guess what your job is. I am sensing. Uh, barista. Was that problematic? That was probably problematic. I work as an instructional assistant for autistic kids. Oh. Okay, yeah, cancel me, whatever, cancel me. See if I care, cancel me. <laughs> I forget that people are like 21 and up can be like full out instructors. Have you ever thought about that? The young ass teacher in whatever grade school you were in was about 22, 23. Did you ever think about that? I still can't process that in my mind to this day. I am 27 years old and the idea of me handling children shouldn't even be a discussion, honestly. If anyone thinks I can do that, they should be thrown in jail. Oh, you know they made him say that. Cause watch him not be compassionate at all in this episode. Ooh. Gays have compassion, huh? But when it comes to other gays, they're mean and nasty. Watch these gays be mean and nasty to each other. Gays have no empathy when it comes to other gays. Ugh. Ugh, MTV. Just because he said that alone, I know for a fact he's going to next someone in the first two seconds of meeting them. Probably a couple of these dudes. Okay, let's be honest. Okay, twirl. Okay, sassy twirl. I'm going to keep on pausing. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm just scared. Gave his little sassy twirl, and he's wearing sandals. We're getting a shot of his toes for free, girl. I love to sing and dance. It's so much fun. I love to sing and dance, which is so much fun. I'm sorry. But I also failed to mention that early 2000s videos were overly highly produced. Like, overly produced. And also, this camera work is crazy. Like, this man is on Adderall or something. Like, what is he doing? He's gonna pull them out, but he's not gonna pull out. Let me leave. Let me leave. I'm leaving. Bro, you know what? It's Black History Month still. I can say whatever the hell I want. These producers were really like, yeah, just run around. Yeah, act like you're having fun. Hang off of this statue. Laugh right here, please. Spin around a circle. Yeah. Show me your sassy side. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Are we gonna meet the five contestants now? What's about to happen? I'm Alex. I'm 18, and this guy won't say next when he sees my package. Oh no. Alex! No! 
18, girl, come on. You know he got finals tomorrow. We got the striped shirt. We got the puka necklace. Ah, puka necklaces. Two thousands, girl. With the spike hair looking like he's on Meet the Robinsons. We see you. Are they all going to have a sexual lead in? Is this? Is this the game? I'm Carlos. I'm 20. I'm beware, boys. My ass is fabulous. So the answer is yes. Be careful, guys. Cause my ass is fabulous. My ass. It's fabulous. Oh, my ass, girl. My ass, girl. It's fabulous. 110%. The things that these people are saying, they were told to say by the producer, standing right exactly there. Listen to the way their diction is. It just sounds like they're repeating what someone else told them to say. Okay, we're gonna play the next person, and you're gonna see it now. I'm Christopher. I'm 19, and I'm gonna win because I've got a like a giant sequoia. So they're all gonna be sexual. It's all gonna be sexual. Here comes Mr. Compassionate Evan facing a bunch of boys younger than him that just talking about their dick and ass. Girl, that's all the gays want, honestly. I'm 18, and this guy's gonna pick me I'm as crazy as my hair is. Take a shot, bitch. You got a sassy gay with long hair. What did I say? I know how they operate. These producers produce it. I like how they're all like 18 to 21. I never knew that I am now too old to be a part of the next bus. I am currently too old for 2000s reality TV. How does that make me feel? Like I just avoided the draft, girl. Honestly. I'm Kate. I'm 20. You guys love me because I look corruptible. Take another shot, girl. Take another shot, girl. He got a long sleeve. Underneath. A short sleeve, girl. You're welcome. You are welcome. The astronauts are on the launch pad. Evan wants to shoot the moon. It's time for liftoff on the next bus. I have no comment. I just wanted to pause it right there to let y'all marinate what the hell this narrator just said. The astronauts are on the launch pad. The astronauts are on the launch pad. Evan wants to shoot the moon. Evan wants to shoot the moon. What? <laughs> so the astronauts are on the launch pad and Evan's over here trying to attack the moon. Do you mean he wants to shoot for the moon? Girl, did you have a stroke in the booth? What happened? Drinking too many martinis, girl. Took too many shots. The astronauts are on the Watch bad everyone's the shit the Here we go. It's time for the first day. Alex is up first and ready to tickle the ice. He wants to strike a chord, but there are four other pianists hoping he'll be playing in the key of next. Someone give this girl a bonus. Give this girl a raise. Up first is contestant number one. Who wants to strike some keys? We the best other pianist. Oh boy, so what he we have here? Oh yeah! The facts, girl! The facts are coming out! Every single time a contestant walks out the next bus, they get a list of facts. Right now we're having 18-year-old Alex first. Let me guess what his facts are gonna be. Still has his wisdom teeth. Is a second semester senior. Doesn't know how to spell Mississippi. I don't know. Okay. Oh. Has a twin brother, collects fortune cookies, idolizes Whitney Houston. How do you collect fortune cookies? Hold on. Do you just have like a large package of like molding, sogging fortune cookies in the back of your room or some shit that you just never threw out? Idolizing Whitney Houston? Okay, get in line. And please, look at him. Idolizing Whitney Houston, bitch, name three songs. They just need to write down a fact for people to know that he's gay. Oh, I wanna dance with somebody! Hi, I'm Evan. Alex. You have a really weak handshake, so I have to say next. Mr. Compassion? Girl, you know he was like, I ain't about to go on a date with an 18 year old. What the fuck you mean? <laughs> oh, if they can't go out to the club, they cannot go out with me. Like, girl, what are we supposed to do together? Trade Pokemon cards? If I feed you alcohol, I'm breaking the law. So what? where are we? Where are we going? To the mall to go eat smoothies? When I was freshly 21, I was like, uh-uh. I ain't got time for these teenagers. Like, I want to take the dude out, get a little drunk, and then touch each other later, okay? I can't do that with some 18, 19 year old. Okay, so now we have someone rejected in the first few seconds. Is the skillet biscuit now going to attack the home dog on their look? Really? your loss, bitch. You're really fucking ugly and it's your loss, bitch. That's the response of an 18 year old, if I ever heard it. One minute, one dollar. Maybe I'll buy Evan some Rogaine. Not Rogaine. Not Rogaine. I know his 18 year old self did not know what the fuck that man girl a producer told him to say that. Alex's handshake felt like a limp. Once again, just pausing for y'all to marinate a limp dick. Okay. With this ass, I'll definitely last longer than a minute.
God bless my species. <laughs> Studying architecture has never had a boyfriend. Girls think he's straight. Okay, sure. Sure, yeah. Yeah. And has never had a boyfriend with that ass? Okay, come on. And for a man talking a lot about his ass, we have not seen his ass yet. Have you noticed that? I like to dance, and I like all types of dance. We have some African dancers over here ready to show us some steps. Would you like to try it? Sure, let's go. I just want everyone to know that I am currently recording this during Black History Month. So whatever I'm about to see... ...might be blasphemous. Oh no. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Hold on. Ooh, I feel the ancestors in me tonight. <laughs> also, I love the 750 different shots to try to hide the fact that these two white ass boys could not move their hips if God loved them even one second, okay? With autistic children. Oh, okay. that's definitely cool. It shows that you also have a caring side and down to earth. You're not shallow nor stuck up. Let's rewind earlier, bitch. Girl, this is a setup. This is character assassination if I've ever seen it, okay? You out to your family and friends and everything? Not really. Like, I'm out to my friends except my mom and dad. I'm a big family person. He's about the next tip. He said, oh, you're not out to your parents? Oh, bye. Some people take time. Okay, did you guys know that I was dating my boyfriend when he was still in the closet? I'm the reason he came out. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, the gay agenda. Right where he needed to. You're welcome. So I have to tell you next. Damn. Damn. Evan, you're so ugly. I didn't even want you to meet my family anyway. Okay. If Carlos wouldn't shout, I'm here, I'm queer, he can go and shed a tear on the next bus. Because <laughs> 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 want to shout, I'm here, I'm queer, he can go shed a tear. <laughs> This announcer is like that one girl in the group of gays that goes to WeHo and just gets unreasonably drunk every single time. He's Harry, and I hate Harry. <laughs> like Chewbacca, he was Harry. <laughs> <laughs> He's so Harry. <laughs> that was also gay representation in the early 2000s. That'd had to be skinny, hairless twinks, because you know, that's what only gays are, you know? If you ain't looking like a Justin Timberlake that sucks dick, girl, you ain't gay. Okay, sir, what are your facts? <laughs> Terrified of food poisoning. Enjoys hanging out in his speed. Wax the man's hairy back. What a coincidence! <laughs> Honestly, this is probably what I'll be hearing if I was trying to date a 19 year old right now. Oh, tell me something interesting about you. Oh, well, I, I like hanging out with in my speedo. Oh, I'm just trying to imagine me trying to have a conversation with my 19 year old self. Like, girl, I didn't do anything interesting yet, girl. I just graduated high school. What do you mean? I've been at home for the majority of my life. I'm a strict vegetarian, and I love trying new places. Okay, I love how both of their collars are just like breaking the laws of what a collar should be doing. Honestly, like if I saw two people walking down the street like this, I would think they were two aliens pretending to be human and trying their best to dress like one. You cannot look at this right now and tell me that they don't look like some skinwalkers, okay? Ah, uh, yes, my fellow gay man. We are on this date today to eat food. What's the raunchiest thing you've ever done? I had a party at my house once. There was this girl, she was really hot. She's like, you're not gay, you're not gay, you're not gay. Well, I wanna f you so bad. She like pulls me and takes me into my room. One of my friends comes in and he starts undressing himself, so he kind of joins. That's really sexy. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're young. They're young. I had to remember, they're young. <laughs> One time, I had a threesome. <laughs> like, girl, every Saturday. I also strip He's gonna next him. He's a stripper. They always, you know, anti-stripper in the early 2000s, right? Oh, you show your body to other people than me? Oh, uh, how dare you? We just met. I'm not higher there, but uh, they told me to get up there and do it. Is he also like only 20? Wait, hold on. How are you at a club, Mr. 20 year old? Hopping on the pedestal, stripping. What? I'm really sorry, but I have to stay next. There you go. Is he gonna call him Harry and Ugly now? With this monotone voice. Better look next time. Get a pedicure, buddy. Get a pedicure. Okay, gay. Too much money I can get out of this Chewbacca. Okay, here we go. Sassy gay with the long hair. Too <laughs> much money I get out of this Chewbacca. Girl, where is the hair on his body? 
<laughs> what are the facts, Jeff? 18 years old. Okay, let me think. Once saw a cow. Can hold its breath for one whole minute. Loves chow mein. Okay. Promotes for clubs. At 18. What were the rules in the early 2000s, girl? What were the rules? Worships Gwen Stefani. Wears girls jeans. Something makes me something makes me feel like these facts were written after the season was filmed by somebody who just like slightly know gay people and what they do. <laughs> you know, all the gays, you know, they like Gwen Stefani, they like Whitney Houston. You know, sometimes they wear girls' jeans. They love clubbing. They love clubbing, even if they're too young to be doing that. And like another eighteen and over clubs, but I don't think an eighteen year old is promoting those. I don't know, girl. I, don't know. I wasn't going out like that. Come on, man. Jeff. How long are you gonna last? So what do you do? I work at a question camp. Are you really into religion? Since I don't really believe. Is he gonna be next because he's into religion? Honestly, I feel that. I feel that. But I can't judge because my boyfriend used to also work at a Christian camp. <clears throat> Y'all, I outed a Christian camp counselor. You're welcome. You're welcome, Gabe. I honestly worship me. God forgives. Being gay, they say, is a sin. Stealing is a sin. God forgives people for stealing. God forgives people for being gay. Because you believe that, I really have to say next. There we go. Okay, he's gonna call him ugly now. Chewbacca said, hey, here's the real set. A cute guy like me, giving you the time of day. Hello, <laughs> Okay. Gay, come on. God may forgive you for being gay. But no one is gonna forgive you for that haircut. That was a good one. That was a good I'll give it to you, producer. Whoever made him say that. Y'all got me on that one. Jeff thinks Evan looks like a Wookiee, but he's the one who will get no nookie. Keep this up next. This girl was out partying. This girl was at the club. Yeah, I was the club. Okay. But you know, girl, she ain't gonna get no nookie. Okay, long sleeve, short shirt. What are your facts, Keith? Let me guess. 20 okay. surfs on the weekend. Really into system of a down. No, that's not gay. Loves Kylie Minogue. Has never seen a nipple. I don't know. Let me see. Owns 26 pairs of designer jeans. Loves breakfast at Tiffany. Afraid of bargain shoppers. You're afraid of people looking for a sale, girl? Okay. Designer jeans? Mm. Look at this fit. That just screams designer, right? Honestly, probably in 2000. Okay, Keith, how long you gonna last? Ready to head on on our next activity? Definitely, let's go. Honestly, they look like they could be brothers. He probably won. Like, are you gay or are you just autosexual? Let's have that deep conversation right now. I am currently a student of cosmetology. I went to cosmetology school for a little while in New York. Oh, he won. Where's the hair on his body? Why do they keep on calling him Harry? I don't see it. I mean, this is like 280p, so. We're gonna go play with some hair and, and makeup and have a good time. Great. They're gonna go play with some hair and makeup. Okay. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Was he just in a Speedo? Girl, you can just wear briefs. What the fuck? Oh, yeah, I'm sure. oh my god. Cosmetology school and y'all brushing the hair like that? Okay. You've been on the date with me for 43 minutes. You have a choice to either take the $43 or you can go on a second date with me. Oh, so they don't get the money? I forgot. So they can either go on a second date or get the money, girl. Take the money and run. And then go on a date after the show. I don't give a shit. They can't stop you. Two queens are good in poker, but they're not good in a relationship. I'm gonna have to take the money and go back to the bus. Well, there you go, Evan. Oh my god, you're back. You're back. I just couldn't do it. We're too much alike, so I took the money. Oh, right. We're too much alike, so I... You see, there's probably a reason why your longest relationship was only a year and a half. I'm just gonna say that. We have similarities? Uh, bye! Okay. Hey, Evan. Thanks for the money. See you later, Chewbacca. Where was the hair? Where was it? These people literally spent the whole episode calling him Chewbacca. And I didn't see a single ounce of hair. That man looked like a twink like the rest of y'all. I don't know what y'all talking about. Also, like, at the end of it, one of them had their clothes completely off. And you know, that's exactly what happens when a group of gays get together, okay? Let's be honest. Lit. After some searching, it seems like we cannot find what Evan is doing nowadays. What Mr. Chewbacca has gotten himself into. I'm sorry. But I did find this tweet. Girls think he's straight. Are these girls in here with us now? <laughs> Sometimes to see true progress, we gotta look back at where we came from. From the next bus and Chewbacca references to now for the love of Dill, a show oh. about young boys trying to find daddies. 
God bless us all. <laughs> it is a recorded period of our time that showcases our society at a period of probably its most shallow. But we love it and we are obsessed with it with every ounce of its chaos. Thank you guys so much for watching. What did we learn today, kids? Um, 18 year olds apparently are promoters at clubs. Never had a boyfriend and everyone thinks he's straight, but apparently that ass is irresistible, according to him. And just casually wearing dry ass Speedo is apparently comfortable to certain people of our species. Who knew? There's a lot more representation of gay people in the early 2000s reality TV that I would love to unpack on a later day. But right now, I'm going to go shit. How many times have I ended the video saying I have to go poop? Why am I just like showcasing my IBS to y'all real quick? I don't know why. I'm sorry. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And if someone were to walk up to you and be like, hey, you want to be on a blind dating reality TV show and possibly win 40 bucks? Please punch them in the face. Yeah!